Hello everyone and welcome back to the Creature Tutorial Series. Now that we've gone through basic controls and hotkeys, let's have a look at the complexity meter. It consists of dots that can reach up to shareable or freedom limits. There are also soft and hard limits, but usually those are only achievable for modded games. All parts have a complexity cost that fill up the meter, including, yes, even the spine. The longer you make the spine, the more complexity it uses. Limbs and parts use different amounts of complexity, and their costs should be taken into consideration. If you wish to get the most out of the complexity meter, you can check the complexity costs in the link in the description below to see how much each part costs. You can make two creations with five segments of spine apiece, a head, eyes, and extremities, and in doing so you can get two whole dots of complexity different. This is not to say that you can't use more costly parts, but using lower cost parts can save you a lot if you're trying to get the most out of the meter. It is also useful for saving on complexity when you consider the amount of detail that each of the different parts provide. For instance, both despites from the Creepy and Cute parts package and the weapon character horn, they're both horns, they're both spikes, and they both cost only one complexity apiece. However, the death spikes give you five or six more spikes than the character horn, so it makes sense that you would use the death spikes as opposed to the character horn. This is especially useful when creating in conjunction with the outfitters, because most of the parts of those editors are one complexity apiece. The general idea, of course, with creating more detailed creation is to use parts and complexity effectively. This means using the most ideal parts so that you can have plenty of complexity to work with. The Freedom and Add DNA cheats effectively give you free range to create whatever it is that you want. Add DNA cheat is unlimited, at least in that it is refillable. The freedom cheat is not, it simply adds more complexity to the meter. So, if you're trying to save space on the complexity meter, that can be done in a few different ways. Asymmetry was an add on in an early patch that allowed the creator to, as the name suggests, make the creation asymmetrical. There's a trick that you can use for this. You should usually do it once you've filled up the complexity meter. If your meter is full, simply take the middle part and make it asymmetrical. I.e. the parts that have moved too close to the middle that merge into what seems like one part, but it's actually two. You're only seeing the one part anyway, so by making them asymmetrical, you tell the game to count it as one part instead of two symmetrical parts. I suggest doing this when the complexity meter is full. This is to save you the trouble of having to line up the parts on both sides if you're trying to make it symmetrical. For instance, if you use asymmetry on a blank head, you then have to manually line up the eyes on both sides. So it's easier to just wait until the end after you've put all the parts on. Asymmetry can be used in a variety of different ways. One is saving costs and complexity. Another way to use asymmetry is for posing your creature. There are ways to take this to an extreme, but for now I'll just show you some simple posing. After you've made your creature and you've put everything wherever it is that you wanted on it, you then go back through and make the head and limbs asymmetrical. You can then manipulate them until your heart's content and come up with some pretty cool poses. These techniques are not new, dating way back to the days of Parker Boy and Endeavor, but we hope that by putting all this information in one place you can use this to help make your creatures more detailed and to get the absolute most out of the complexity meter. Thanks for watching.